I'm Big Coach Leonard Parker, and this is the Big Coach Leonard Parker TV show. And we're broadcasting today from the Parker Retirement Resort. And ooh wee, do we have a good show for you all today. We got the head boys basketball coach from Scotlandville High, Mr. Jeremy Noah. He'll be bringing two of his players. We have the head girls basketball coach from Scotlandville High, Mr. Bianna O'Connor, and she'll be bringing two of her players. And whoo! We got a very unique situation with Thrive Academy. Y'all need to see what kind of school this is. And here, Mr. Sean Duhon. He's the head boys basketball coach, and he'll be bringing two of his players. Should be a great show. Stay tuned. Hey, big coach. Good evening, I'm Leonard Parker, and this is the Big Coast Leonard Parker TV show. And today's guest, we have Coach Jeremy Noah. He's the head boys basketball coach at Scotlandville High School. Coach, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me, Coach. Appreciate right. it. Right. Coach Noah has 17 years of experience in education. He's a 2002 graduate of a Scrummer High School. He also graduated from Southern University. And oh, yeah, when he was at Southern University, he ran track. And he was a skywalker. That means he walked in the sky. He was a six foot ten high jumper and he was a 47 foot triple jumper. And wow, he can get up and now he's coaching basketball at Scotlandville and this is his first year as head coach. Coach, I looked at your schedule and I noticed one thing. I said, wow, they didn't have 22 road games. And you know, I, I hopefully y'all gonna get a couple home games. Or I thought y'all played one last night, but um, how did the schedule evolve into having this many road games um, at the start of the season? Uh, we we were part of a few of uh, the tournaments, the round robins. Mm. Uh, we owed some people some uh, travel games. Some payback games. Yeah, payback games. So yeah. uh, you go going on the road, you want you get to see teams that you don't normally see when you play in tournaments, a uh, Gold Dawn Classic, uh, play the uh, Rumble on the River for uh, Madison Prep. Mm -hmm. uh, and they actually bring in teams from all over the state to come in. So that's an opportunity for us to get in and do some things. And, just good good power rankings games. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, 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 and is this some of the teams that y'all might see in the playoffs or just playoff teams in other divisions? No, these, these have been some uh, playoff teams, uh, not necessarily in our division, but mm -hmm. we've played some guys in our division just uh, just playing 5A for a good basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Good networking, too. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. indeed. Good yes, networking. Sir. Yes, sir. That's all right. Coach, how many? Mm -hmm. 16 years of experience, legendary program in Scotlandville. How many state championships have you been a part of? State championship games? 14. 14 uh, out of 16 years? Out of 16 years, yes, sir. Unheard of. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Uh, as an assistant coach, yeah, just a coach period, uh, we, we've been able to go. We were blessed to have some guys who uh, did what we asked them to do, mm -hmm. uh, you know, bonded together and wanted to win. And we traveled. We weren't fortunate enough to pull all of them out, but uh, eight of them, we, we were. Able to get in and, and 14 and, and got eight. Yes, sir. That's all right. Yes, sir. So, all right. That's okay, coach. That's okay. Um, as a journey, you, you're taking over first year as head coach. As your journey as head coach, have you had, had a few challenges in your transition? Uh, talk to us a little bit about that. Just uh, being at the school full time, uh, 16, now 17 years. Mm -hmm. This is my first year actually working at Scotlandville, uh, adapting to the culture. Uh -huh. I've, I've worked with uh, pre-K three all the way to eighth grade. I would see. Uh, yeah, yeah. I see every age group in mm -hmm. the course of the day. Now I only see the, Make the big teacher. kids. Make yes, sir. Better teach. So uh, just just adapting to being with the older kids and, and uh, seeing them, seeing how they interact with one another every day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a beautiful thing. I enjoy it. Yes, I have indeed. a good time with it, you know. And then being around my basketball guys all day is a uh, is a blessing, and I, I'm, I'm loving that. That's great. Uh, as as as. You being a mentor, yes, 
or as who has been your mentors in 17 years of experience have you become a mentor? Uh, of course, you got to talk about Coach Sample. Mm -hmm. He's been there. I, I've been around Coach Sample since I was 13 years old. Right. I probably took uh, five years to go to college. And then after that, we, we've been together. Uh, and the transition he made from a stronger to Scotlandville, I, I was there. I didn't coach basketball immediately. But uh, I can say uh, Richard Oliver. Mm. Um, no one. Coached him. He coached me at a stronger. Um, Antoine Carter. Uh, he's he's uh, recently passed, but okay. he was a, a inspiration to me. He called me. We talked from time to time. He was a guy uh, he, from a distance. Coach Adger has right. always kind of you know dropped little nuggets for me. That's all right. Uh, I can, I'll reach back to my uh, first ever basketball coach, uh, Menard Bo Dillon. Mm -hmm. uh, with Magnolia Peace Officers, he's a former retired police officer. Kind of told me my, my base level of basketball. That's you all know, right. You can never forget. You know, he's always reaching out, checking on me every now and again, just to see how everything's going. That's good. Yes. So, well, what about you becoming a mentor, coach? Have you helped any young coaches? Uh, I, I have. Uh, I have some guys I've talked to over the years, uh, mm -hmm. but but now more so as a head coach, uh, Coach uh, Joshua Washington. He's been under us for a little while. He's branching off, doing his own thing from time to time. Mm -hmm. um, Hendrick Foster played for us, and he's doing. He's picking up things and. and He's real aggressive towards uh, the coaching aspect, so okay. he helps out a lot. And then uh, there's also Deshaun Washington, another former player. Mm -hmm. So just having my guys who, who've been around me, I, I I wouldn't say that they're my little brothers. So mm -hmm. I don't think about mentoring. I just think about being the best version of a big brother I could be That's good. for them. That's know? all right. Yes, sir. Well, Coach, Coach, uh, I'm, I'm going to throw a little curveball in here at you. Okay. Um, you know, uh, I'm a, I know you're a scrummer grad, and I'm a scrummer grad. <laughs> Yes, you know, you are 2002, but okay. I'm an 84 grad. Ooh. And I'm going to ask you the question, and everybody got this question going on. Okay. Are you mighty eye or are you dirty eye? Man, listen, uh, in 2002, <laughs> I'll, we'll go back, uh, we'll say 2007. Uh huh. Uh, all the way back to 1998, I was a dirty eye. You dirty eye, cool. Yeah, uh, I think when you get a little more mature, a little older, uh -huh. you know. Uh, you, you got to encompass all that in the one. Uh, Mighty Eye. Yeah. Those, those guys uh, who, who represented that time frame were, were really putting putting the name out there. Uh, yeah. Athletically, you know, all the way around. Dirty Eye was more of a, a, a reputation. Reputation. You know, reputation. You. And so, uh, but no, I, I, I encompass it all. I'm a strong grad. You're a strong grad. Yeah. As long as, just, just don't describe us too bad. I, I'm, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take my or dirty. Right, you take both of them. Yes, sir. So I'm going to tell you. Now, look. Okay. I, can, can you sing an alma mater with me, you think? Ooh, coach, I'm, I'm rough with it. I'm rough. I'm rough with it, coach. You got me. You, yeah, you said you were going to pull one out on me, coach. I'm mighty eye, dirty eye. Man, I'm dirty eye. But if I sing the alma mater, could you like, give I me get a little bit? I get no, it. No, wait a minute. I ain't going to sing it like traditional. I'm going to sing it with my little beat. And I'm gonna sing it fast. So you just you look, you just bob your I'm head. And enjoy you bob it, your head and, and you give me a look. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes, Alright, all right, here we go, here we go. He a rom of old red man, that's good as 10 TP. He crossed a mystic rest to scrum up, to scrum up, to scrum up, try the trees. Hella scrum up, alma mater, tender love we owe to D. Hella scrum up, alma mater, we will ever lawyer be. And I know you've been lawyer to uh, Scotlandville coach and uh, it's great that you're getting your chance to be a head coach now. And um, I know you're going you're gonna to do some good things for Scott Field. And I'm, I'm rooting for you, baby. Hey, coach, I'm rooting I appreciate for you. it, man. Thank you for having me on the show, man. Appreciate Thank you for being here. Right. Yes, sir. Big Coach Leonard Parker Show. Nobody will satisfy your outdoor needs like reliable roofing. Over the past 15 years, I had two roofing systems, including a chimney installed by Reliable Roofing. I highly recommend them to get the job done. Reliable roofing, where no job is too big or small, just give us a call. No matter the job, big or small, give us a call. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. 
Christine Lacaz, licensed massage therapist, is offering appointment-only massage therapy at Modern Techniques Salon. The massage services are offered on Saturdays and Mondays by appointment only. No walk-ins. Call Christine Lacaz at 225-610-4908. That's massage therapy by appointment only at Modern Techniques Salon, located on Highway 1 in Addis. Call Christine Lacaz for your appointment today, 225 610 no one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Next we have two players from Scotlandville High School, Mr. Jamarion Brown and Mr. Jamal Drury. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats, the flavor says it all. Big Coast Leonard Parker Show. Scotland Via High Boys basketball players, Mr. Jamarion Brown and Mr. Jamal Drury. Jamarion is a senior and Drury is a junior. Guys, thank y'all for coming today. Thank, thank you for having us. Okay, guys, just uh, tell me just in general how y'all think the season going so far. Um, this season uh, is going good. Uh, I think we started out real slow this year mm. compared to last year. But uh, we definitely picked it up and we jetted it more in the right time because it's coming up to third season bell time. But right now we're in district and I think we all jetted well to get it at the right time. That's all right. Brown, but same? Yes, sir. All right, all right, you all right? So look, tell me what, Brown, what's the biggest challenges facing Scotlandville players today? Uh, I don't really think that's a challenge, you know. Everybody want to be Scotlandville because we Scotlandville. You know, mm -hmm. we've been running Louisiana for the uh, last couple of years. Right, uh, New Orleans and every other. Uh, yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all, probably got the, one of the best programs in the state. Arguably, the best program in the state for the last ten years. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Uh, going to Scottsdale, probably the biggest challenge is being better than you was the day, the day before because every day you know it's like a building block. Uh, it's trying to live up to uh, Scottsdale expectations. That's probably like the biggest challenge we face because the players that came before us, they just set the bar so high, and Coach Nolan them tell us all the time that uh, they're not raising the ball for nobody. So for us, being able to meet the expectations is, what, is probably the biggest challenge. Do some of the players ever come back? Like, I know y'all got a lot of guys in the pros. Y'all got a lot of guys still division on one colleges. Do they come back and talk to y'all sometimes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They come back, they come back a lot. Uh, we look at them as our big brothers. You know, they come back, they cheer us. They, uh, they tell us things that they notice that they think they can help us be better at. Mm. You know, they also be reaching out, you know, through social media and stuff now because they so far and we still in Baton Rouge, so they be, you know, calling and telling us stuff that they think we're better at. Oh, well, who do y'all uh, look up to as y'all mentors and y'all role models today? For me, it'll probably be uh, my mama mm. because uh, me not having a, father, a real father figure other than like my coaches. Um, she been the one in my life since I was like a kid, so she know me better than anybody. And for her being the uh, the only woman, she she ain't a man, but she can do things that a man can do uh, when it come down to it. She always get the job done. So me looking up to her. A single parent that's getting it done. Yes. See, they can get it done. They can get it done. But it, it ain't nothing wrong with a little help from a man. But if she can do it, get it done. What about you, Brown? I uh, say so my mom and coaches. You know, mom been pushing me since I was. Seven years old playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Push me in and out, working out, going to gyms late at night, early in the morning. So, so, so give me your mom name, my man. Sh Rashika Drew. 
Rashika Drury, and give me yours name. Shannon Thomas. And who's some of these coaches that's been helping you? Coach Noah, Coach Sample, Coach Josh, Coach Chan, Coach Deshaun. All right. Hey, keep doing what y'all doing. They are uh, helping these young people out. Uh, what things in the past have made you a better player today? Something that's helped you in, in the past become a better player? Coming in my freshman year, uh, I definitely say John Hubbard. Uh, mm. Going to get something every day in practice for like for the last two years, it definitely made me stronger because he's a stronger guard and he he great on defense. Uh, he quicker, so me going against that for the last two years, it definitely prepped me for my junior year being able to uh, handle that when it came down to it. And Hubbard was a, 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 a guard last year that started for Scottsdale. Um, short, a little shorter, but strong guard, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What about you, Brian? I mean, I'd say to Xavier and T said because when I was a freshman, you know. He used to run a folk. I used to want to do everything that he used to do. Mm -hmm. And like in practice, I'll try to go one-on-one -on -one with him. You know, he was body up every time because you know, he was bigger and stronger than me. Right. And I think that prepared me for uh, my senior year. That's all right. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll be seeing him in the future, huh? Yeah, Starting right. at quarterback at, uh, at the SU. Yeah, um, right. yeah he's, he's a heck of an athlete and uh, very confident. And I like what he told Drury last year. He said, yeah, Drury, Drury had hit a couple game-winning shots, but he missed one and y'all lost the game. And he said, that's okay. Jury gonna end up hitting another game winning shot for us. And when y'all went to Catholic last year, I think Jury hit like four free throws in the last minute of the game. And I thought about T said having that confidence in Jury when he was only a sophomore. That's some good stuff. That's a yeah, I understand that. I understand that. Now. Well who y'all patting y'all games after, man? Who do y'all looking at television? And y'all looking at TV and after they go off, y'all say, hmm. I'm finna go off and try that move, or I'm finna go outside and try that move. Uh, anybody y'all patting y'all game after? Or uh, y'all just go with what y'all trying to become your own self? I patted my game out of somebody, but they're not the NBA. Uh, That's I, all right. It really be like people that went to Scottsdale, so probably like Reese Beekman, right, uh, Rayvon Smith, Mario McDonald, those guys, like they, they was before me and they did things the right way, so I just want to, you know, keep it going and then That's also it. show the young guys how to do it. That's right. a dick of ass. The, the, the guys that came before you, you patting your game out there, now you trying to teach the young guys the same thing. I, I love that answer. Brown, who you patting the game after, man? I got two guys. I say Zayn Jackson, you know, and the NBA, the GOAT, LeBron James. Watch out. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, if you look, I'm patting my game, I'm going to go to an expert. Now I'm going to go to the best expert out there. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes indeed. That's a, that's a great answer. Great answer. Um, but we have Demarion, Demarion Brown, senior at Scotlandville. And we have Jamal Jury. A junior at Scotlandville. Guys, I appreciate y'all coming today. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you for having us on the show. All right, man. Big Coach Leonard Parker Show. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugge, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugge Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we get back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Nobody will satisfy your outdoor needs like reliable roofing. Over the past 15 years, I had two roofing systems, including a chimney installed by Reliable Roofing. I highly recommend them. To get the job done. Reliable roofing, where no job is too big or small, just give us a call. No matter the job, big or small, give us a call. 
Christine Lacaz, licensed massage therapist, is offering appointment-only massage therapy at Modern Technique Salon. The massage services are offered on Saturdays and Mondays by appointment only. No walk-ins. Call Christine Lacaz at 225-610-4908. That's massage therapy by appointment only at Modern Technique Salon, located on Highway 1 in Addis. Call Christine Lacaz for your appointment today, 225 610 you can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Coach Bree coming up next. Big Coach Leonard Parker Show. And now we have Miss Brianna O'Connor. She is the head girls basketball coach at Scottsdale High. She is a Bill Platt High graduate. She attended Northwestern State University where they won the Southland Conference Championship in girls basketball. Then she transferred to Augusta University where she graduated. Then she went on to the G League and she played for the Georgia Soul and they won a national championship. Afterwards, she went overseas to Australia where she had three jobs. She was a player, she was a coach, and she ran the camps for the girls and boys. Coach O'Connor, we pleased to have you. My pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, man, it's great. Coach, you've been coaching for two years now, and you're at Scottsdale. And one thing I noticed, just, just looking at your outfit, can you tell me a little bit about it? Oh, yeah. It, this isn't a fashion show, so this is a, a clothing line that I drop for mm -hmm. athletes and anybody that, you know, this isn't a fashion show. Whenever you get on the court or the field, it's always a fashion show. So you express yourself how you want to express yourself. Look so good. that's just something I did for the athletes. And Look good, feel good. Feel good, play good. That's it. You're right about that. Watch out. Man. Watch <laughs> out. Okay, wow. We wish you the best with that. Oh, you know? Thank you. And you can uh, go on my website, www.trainingwithcoachbree.com. Okay. All right. Okay. Shout out. Okay. Coach, uh, what's your future outlook for your, uh, your team or, or even your future outlook for the season? My future outlook is just to finish strong. Uh, we had a lot of adversity. We hit this year as a first year coach. Mm -hmm. um, the players learning me, me learning the players. Six seniors graduated last year, so it's a brand new team. Okay. I have most of my kids never even played basketball, so it's just a rebuilding season for fundamentals. Me. Fundam strictly fundamentals. That's all right. That's all right. So I see you ranked number eleven in the power rankings, and um, what has surprised you this year with Scott Lee? Being your first year. What surprised me is the kids, they never give up. They always go hard. They don't mind asking questions. And it's just basically me bonding with the kids this year and teaching them what system we're going to run. Because mm -hmm. I don't just run strictly a, a system. I get, I run a system how my players are. So if my players are struggling on something, then I, as a coach, I feel like I have to change it up right. to make them successful. Yes, I, I like it. I like it. I'm going to go with my players' uh, talent level, Correct. and we're going to run a system that fits their talent level. Correct. Not what I'm comfortable with. Exactly. I got you. Okay. So what would be your team identity? What you trying to get out of being a team identity coming in your first year? Team identity is being relentless, always going hard, no matter what adversity we hit, because we hit a lot of adversity this season. Mm -hmm. uh, we're losing players, players getting hurt. So just going hard no matter what. Um, being... A better person, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Uh, I putting God first. Okay. So just different characteristics as becoming a young lady, becoming a young woman, dressing, feeling good. Even maybe even we developing that team identity. Exactly, we developing. We developing. We definitely team developing. And, and we we have we have in a couple of years. Oh, For most sure. definitely. Yes, indeed. Most definitely. Yes, indeed. So what kind of problems do you see on your offense and your defense, or either or? What my offense, um, and what I see just in girls basketball in general mm -hmm. is pressure. Kids not liking that pressure or ball handling. Um, communicating. 
-hmm. is my biggest oh that is my pet peeve when my kids don't communicate especially on the defensive end help each other out help each other out you always have to have good communication even in life i tell them that all the time mm -hmm. well, well do you know the boys district is called the uh the acc of high school <laughs> basketball the girls district ain't far from it ain't far yeah. from it so what do you think about y'all district are uh, the teams in it who's the, the teams that are tough the uh, team that's the front runners. What do you think about the district that you are in? The district is tough. You have Zachary, you have Liberty, you have Woodline. That they have good systems. You know they have great coaches and the established. players established. Established and mm -hmm. they just have a good system and they all just having fun playing together. And I mean it's it's good watching them and knowing coming from a strong district that they are top three uh, teams in not select and select. But one thing about it is going to help y'all get ready for the playoffs, but mm -hmm. you might take a couple lumps oh, while you're sure. getting ready for it. For sure. We, uh, we actually 14 and 14. Okay. Um, like I said, it's a rebuilding season, and it's nothing I'm taking personal. It's just something that I have to deal with as a young coach, and I'm, I'm ready for the ride. That's all right. That's all right. Miss Brianna O'Connor, Coach Bree. <laughs> hey, I'm stamping her. She young. But she got a pedigree out of this world. She got a lot of experience, and she's a champion. And you better watch out for her in a couple of years. Coach, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. All right. Big Coach Leonard Parker Show. T.N. Kelly and Janiah Anderson coming up next. And we are pleased to have y'all. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you. Okay. Ladies, we're going to start this thing out by a general question. How things been going this year? I know y'all got a new coach, Coach O'Connor. And um, how things been going this year? Things been going good, great. It's a lot of adversity um, during the games. Like, she always tells us, don't let your emotions get to you during the game because they messes up the game. One person can have attitude that affects the team. Mm. So it's a lot of adversity in everybody. Where that too is powerful. Yeah, a lot of injuries and yeah, players missing and things like that. So yeah, we have a lot of adversity going on. Just gotta try to keep your head up and yeah, keep, keep fighting. Keep pushing. Yeah. That's it. That's it. What about? I heard. I heard we got some. I got some two sharp ladies up here. What about grade point average? What's y'all grade point average? Oh, I got a three point oh. This mine's three point eight. Watch out now. Watch out. What you What you planning on doing after high school? Um, Ten other shoe. I have an academic scholarship. Oh, that's one. That's one. Keep doing it, girl. What you, what you, you, you know, your major yet? You should think about that. Either criminology or civil engineering. Go ahead on now. All right. Hey, all right, Miss Anderson. Miss Anderson's gonna be hitting the LSU. That is great. Um, what is the greatest challenge facing our athletes this year, y'all think? Because there's a lot of stuff facing them, but what's the greatest challenge? You y'all think? I know it's probably gonna be different houses. This year, that's specifically. Okay. Um, the player pool is getting a lot bigger, so it's it's a lot harder to, to get recognized out here. Um, it's a lot of good, it's a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. yeah, yeah. A lot of talent and like with the teams and their records. Mm -hmm. Some people look at the record and say, "Oh, that's a good team. Ain't no way to beat them." But if you just keep pushing, okay, fighting, it's a chance to beat them. If you believe in yourself. That's what it's about. And like that pool, like you said, you always can get, once you get your shot, you get in there and you go hard, you might come through and be successful, you know. And what position do you play? I play center. And what position? Uh, I forget where I play uh, what, Small what? forward. A small forward. You know what you just said, huh? Small forward. This is what you said, I'm a basketball player. Wherever coach put me, I'm going to play basketball. <laughs> I like that. Okay, all right. Miss Kelly is a basketball player. Miss Anderson is a center. All right. What have you learned about teamwork in the past that has helped you today? Any games we didn't play as a team, we lost. Mm. From the drum. If we're not communicating, we're not uh, knowing we're supposed to be, knowing the plays and stuff, it, it just doesn't work out. So gotta play together. You gotta play together, you gotta know what's going on at all times. And you okay. gotta know who you're playing against. Mm -hmm. um, teamwork is an on and off court thing, because at practice, um, for you to be better at the game, I have to do it at practice, but also translate to the court. Everybody has to. Got count on each other. I like that answer. I like Miss Kelly. I like that answer. 
all the games we didn't play as a team, we lost. Ooh, I ain't heard that one before. Hmm, I like that. I like that. What have you done to make yourself better? Or what things do you maybe need to do to make yourself better? Either way. Um, being that I have a disability, I have to think differently than most players. Okay. So, uh, I just got to work harder than everybody else. I okay. want to be first in all the drills. I want to finish first. Okay. I want to I look the best. I want to be the best player. And that's just what it is, you know. I want to be the best on defense. All right. And so what I do, I just, I'm just passionate. I just go hard every time. I just get my best, get my own. I like it. I like it. Um, during the summer, said last year I barely played. During the summer, uh, I was in the gym with Coach Green. Okay. In the summer league. Watch out now. <laughs> with summer league, and I got better for it. Got ready for this year. That's it. Summer league kept out a lot. How many games y'all played over that summer league? Probably about like 10. 10 games? 10 games. Let's look summer league. What, do you, what about patterning our games? Y'all look at y'all games. Who do you sit there and say, I'm watching television. I say, hey, I would like to play like her. And then maybe even go outside and do some of their moves and try to do some of the things they do. Or it's just, I'm just trying to get better myself. Uh, how y'all feel about that question? Who y'all patterning your games at? Um, this is Candace Parker. Watch out now. Or Adrian. Yes, indeed. She's in college sometimes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I watch men's basketball. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So I, I like to watch uh, Marcus Smart, uh, left handed yeah. cars like D'Angelo Russell. Mm. So I try to see how I can, you know, what you think, what, they do. what you think about the Celtics played with Marcus Smart, though? That was their heart and soul. Yeah. That was their defensive player of the year. And, but that team, the pros, is business. Mm -hmm. It's a business, and, you know. Right. Man, you, I, you can't let your heart go. That's the one that's going to, when your stars ain't performing, they gonna, he going to be the one to pick them up. But that's business. Yeah. Marcus Smart. I like, I like Smart. Smart with Oklahoma State. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. All right. What about nicknames? Y'all got any, like, crazy nicknames on the team? Um, any crazy nicknames? Why y'all laughing? That's the monster. <laughs> she the monster. monster. The 3.8 GPA is the monster? She the monster. Why you call you monster? Uh, on the court, we hand the ball, go to work. Yeah. I had two double doubles and a good attack on the board defense. <laughs> you put a frown on your face when you're on that floor. You be like me, like, like look, I'm, I'm going to be smart in the classroom, but when I'm on the court, different kind of person. Is that you? I'm coming to see you play. No, I'm going to see you play Tuesday. I'm going to see y'all play Tuesday. The monster. Oh, the monster. Anderson the monster. The monster Anderson. Oh, man. I'm coming to see you play. Look, uh, who do y'all admire like, man? But somebody y'all look up to, somebody to help you get where you at today. Uh, it could be life, it could be basketball, it could be school. Just somebody in life that can tremendously help you. Uh, I remember both of my parents. Okay. At the end of the day, they got me everything I needed. Watch out. I made sure I was straight my whole childhood. You know? Okay. Introduced me to the game. So. Can you give me their name? Can you shout, shout out to the kids? Shout out to my mom, Tia, and my dad, Jarvis. And, uh, and, and, and uh, they, they're kids. Tia and Jarvis, Tia. Okay. <laughs> well, give me that last name. Uh, Tia Fulgham and Jarvis Emery. Thank you all for raising me. You know, that's all right. Show. That's all. Don't start crying. Now. I'm not Don't you start crying. <laughs> all right. What, what, what about you? Who your mind like? Same, my parents. Same. That's good. Well, well let's give them a shout out. Shout out. <laughs> tell, what, what's your parent name? Shout out to Sheila Morris and John Anderson. Can you want to tell them what they did for you? And don't you start crying. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell them what they did. What they did for you. Thank you for supporting me and being there. And doing y'all job. That's all right. That's all right. We got Miss Kelly and Miss Anderson, senior basketball players at Scotland High. We're going to be covering them this Tuesday on Louisiana All American Sports Network on YouTube TV. So we look forward to seeing them. I, 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 I want to see the monster come out. I want to see the monster. Just yes, look at it. She said, it will. She, she just shook her head like, it will come out. Thank y'all for coming very Thank much. You. All right. Thank you. Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Nobody will satisfy your outdoor needs like reliable roofing. Over the past 15 years, I had two roofing systems, including a chimney installed by Reliable Roofing. I highly recommend them to get the job done. Reliable roofing, where no job is too big or small, just give us a call.
no matter the job, big or small, give us a call. Christine Lacaz, licensed massage therapist, is offering appointment-only massage therapy at Modern Technique Salon. The massage services are offered on Saturdays and Mondays by appointment only. No walk-ins. Call Christine Lacaz at 225-610-4908. That's massage therapy by appointment only at Modern Technique Salon, located on Highway 1 in Addis. Call Christine Lacaz for your appointment today, 225 625- 610-4908. Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats, the flavor says it all. Coach Duhon of Thrive Academy, after this break. Southern New Hampshire University. He received his master's degree from American College of Education. They call that ACE. And he's also working on his doctoral degree at the current time at that university. Special note, when Sean was working at the Job Corps, he saw a need because the boys didn't have nothing to do in the evening time, so he started a basketball team and went undefeated playing AU basketball. Coach Duhon, we have to have him. Hey, thank you for having me. Coach, I heard you're a coach, but you also do some sub-administrative duties. Yes. Can you explain that to me, what sub-administrative duties are? Absolutely. Um, our administration is, is amazing. They have given me a platform uh, to really support me in my aspirations to be in administration. Uh, so with that, they have given me some administrative duties around the school uh, the first part of the day. Uh, and then I will have uh, some teaching duties at the end of the day. So that would involve assisting the dean of students with any behavior issues. That would involve helping the assistant principal out with anything operational, even with the mm-hmm. principal, uh, anything in terms of school-wide. Um, that would be a part of that role. So they're very supportive in my, my vision of uh, becoming an administrator. So we got an administrator, a teacher, and then a coach. Yes. Got to be flexible. Yes. Gotta, woo, Definitely. that's three jobs. At the assistant athletic director. Oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> well, how long has Thrive been an assistant coach? Uh, since 2012. Okay. Since 2012. All right. All right. With, uh, 11 years. Yes. 11 years. All right. Yes. Watch out now. Okay. And well, what about the net department? How long they been going on at Thrive? At, we've been in the um, varsity sports for about five years now. Mm-hmm. So we've been a part of the associate uh, Louisiana Association for five years. Um, and okay. we've had... We've had some some ups and downs uh, in terms of the growth of the athletic department, but we are starting to see those shifts, and we're excited to 
um, have our athletes uh, to have that success as well. Oh, that's good. Uh, so we're, we're, we're really happy about that. So could you tell me about a routine that Thrive? It's a different kind of high school. Yeah. So and we're trying to uh, give our audience uh, what's the makeup of this high school. So a Monday through Friday, how does it go? When did the kids leave? When do they come? Explain all that to me. Uh, that's a good question. Um, and a lot of people are not familiar with Thrive Academy. We are in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We are a state-sponsored boarding school. Mm. Uh, our students live on campus. Uh, we have approximately 180 uh, kids on campus. Uh, they live in a modern three-story dormitory. We also have a brand new school that was built, what, four, four and a half years ago. Um, so we provide complete wraparound services for our students. Uh, what that entails is that we create a safe environment for our students to hence thrive. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, shout out to the founders, Ms. Sarah Broom, who started Thrive uh, many years ago. Her vision is, is coming to life of taking our precious kids, put them in a controlled environment to assist them with the daily needs. Mm -hmm. um, that's with anything residential and then the school side and adding those athletic extracurriculums to the school itself has really been a pivotal part of the success and growth of Thrive Academy. So as far as the daily routines, students have chores throughout the day with, in the afternoon. Uh, some who are athletes, they still are responsible for their chores in the residential setting. They have uh, structured bedtimes, study hall times, tutoring times, and report to school in the morning. And that is a 30 second walk from mm. uh, the dormitory to the school. So we shouldn't have too many <laughs> toys. Uh, like when we was in college, we can get just in five minutes. <laughs> Absolutely. You get up, you be in your class in Absolutely. five minutes, you go on time. So you're going to get that extra, try to get that extra sleep. So uh, I, that's that's one of the biggest unique things about Thrive is, is having that residential um, piece um, because you, you, you have a dynamic of kids that are from all over, right? But give <coughs> you the autonomy as a coach mm -hmm. and just imagine you go back into your coaching days that accessibility you will have with your, your, your kids. Yeah, they're there. They're there, right? All you gotta do is show up and they could just report to the gym or report to the field and we have those practices and things like that going on. So basically the kids come to school Monday through Friday. Yes. They leave on Friday evening. Friday evening. And they come back Sunday afternoon after four o'clock. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Now you said 185 kids. Mm -hmm. How many of those kids play sports? Give or take 70%. Mm -hmm. Over 70% of our students are student athletes. That's all right, that's yeah. all right. Either play one sport or two, <coughs> two or three sports. So are the teachers on campus for 24 hours? No, no, the teachers report every day. We, we live off campus. It's just the students who live on campus who are monitored by their mentors and we have a complete residential staff starting from a residential director all the way down to mentors. So you have the director of resident, you have assistant now directors, and you have the mentors. <coughs> the mentors are like uh, big brothers, big sisters who live in the, the suite okay. with, the, with the students, monitor behavior, really have that sense of mentorship, mm -hmm. talk to them, uh, and, and just kind of like be that big brother or big sister just kind of like, you know, create that intimate family setting because we want to give our students that full exposure, of, like that full uh, exposure of like just being at home, you know, that comfortability of being at home because they're not at home and they would go outside and just kind of ride their bike down the street and all mm -hmm. that stuff. But that, our mentors make up a big part of that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, Coach, I know you had a three job title. Do you have any other job titles? <laughs> uh, supporter. If you add supporter on there, I'm. I'm I, I love to support all athletics um, and any extracurricular at that uh, because I feel like that is a pivotal piece into our kids' growth. They love to see when you come out mm. to the games. So you just um, coach boys, boys basketball? I just coached. With well, this year, this was uh, my last year coaching football. So you did coach I football? I coached football for the last three years, um, basketball for two years, and I also coached track for the last two years. Mm -hmm. So. I won't be coaching track this year. Uh, basketball has been a 
a load this year. <laughs> well, it's a load for a reason. Let's talk about let's get into this basketball. What's y'all record and what's y'all power ranking, Tom? Uh, right now, overall, we are 14 and 8, but in the state of Louisiana, those those couple of wins are out of state. But in the state of Louisiana, we're 11 and 8, and we're ranked number 15, and we're 3 and 0 in district. And on Tuesday, uh, at Thrive Academy, mm. February 6th. Watch out. 6 p.m. Watch out. We will be playing for a district title versus Southern Lab. Be there. Be there. <laughs> Going to another level, Coach. Definitely. Right now, y'all looking at a home playoff game. If y'all could win Tuesday, mm -hmm. when y'all win Tuesday, y'all gonna move up and 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 assume. Oh, that's great. That's great, Coach. Y'all in top sixteen. Okay, Coach. I I like to ask this question. You have any kids? Yes, I have two girls. One six and one is two. I like to ask this question. Coach. How do you balance family life, coaching life, or, or work? Man, I'll tell you this. My wife. Okay. Okay. If it wasn't for her dedication to assisting me in my dreams and aspirations, I would this wouldn't be possible. Mm. Um, she's you know she's she's my old rock. She makes sure that all things family is taken care of, which take that load off of me to help me do the things that I do as a coach. Um, so the pressure is on because she. She has that highlight of the family, but she's uh, she's really been pivotal in our in, in this whole success that I'm having uh, with coaching and just doing those things. But um, she's the reason, man. That's I, I mean, she's the reason. I can't I can't deny that she's definitely the reason I'm able to do the things I'm able to do. All right, the wife helped the balance. Okay, yeah. coach. What do you think about these two positions? And uh, <clears throat> do you think a trainer is needed in every game for these kids? And do you think uh, a school needs an academic advice? Absolutely, Coach. Um, I do think that trainers should be at every game. Stuff happens all the time, right? Um, academic advisors in school, we need the support from our athletes. And let's just be honest. Sometimes our athletes fall a little short. They get one track, right? But I want to just focus on that sport. That's, that's two sides to the full athlete student first, mm. athlete second. Correct. So sometimes our athletes are just so gun ho about playing their sport, they forget up they forget that they're students. So having that that academic support realigns them and mm. keeps them focused. Um, so I really think that that is beneficial to any program, Correct. any school, even in middle school, yeah. right? Uh, and it really draws out uh, the best of all student athletes in the whole entire school. Okay. What about uh, the Thrive Health Strength and Conditioning Program? Yes, and, and we have, uh, all of our athletes have a uh, fit, fit period, um, athletic period. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I'm very excited to even talk about it. Um, last year we just revamped our weight room, brand new equipment, uh, the kids are in it. Um, it's amazing, I wish I had some pictures to show you guys, mm -hmm. but we wanted to have that component of the program to be revamped because that weight room and working out is so pivotal to the athletic body, right? Mm -hmm. So we needed that to be a big piece for our, our student athletes and, uh, and it just having that, man, it has helped out a lot. Everybody needs strength back. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And then across the board, you look at physical education, the standard is even if you're not an athlete, you're still being exposed to the weight room. So there's their strength and conditioning units mm -hmm. in the physical education, and, and that is what we want to have school wide. So it's not necessarily that weight room is for the athletes, so it, it's beneficial for our entire school. That's great. Yeah. That's great. What about any special program to thrive that you would like to talk about? Um, I mean, so much uh, going on at Thrive. We, um, we have our afternoon programs, uh, clubs that in residential life. Um, we have football, basketball, all the sports, and those programs are starting to kind of look, have that positive outlook on the entire school. Uh, we have our abroad program, um, and I'm happy to say that 
we just paying for our Washington D.C. trip for a selected group of students uh, who will be going to Washington D.C. April first through April fourth. Um, so I advocated for that, spearheaded that a couple of years ago, and it finally has gotten off the ground, and we have gotten it paid for, and we have five amazing students that's going to be taking a part of that journey. You gonna be going? To come? I will not be going. Okay, um, but you spearheaded. I definitely did spearhead it. But it's, you know, I always say it's not about me. Mm. I just want to see that growth. I want to see them get that exposure. But we have some amazing people going with them um, to chaperone. So it's just really about them and getting that exposure. So that's what it is about. Yeah. Coach, I'm looking at you. You, you know, you're, you're um, American College of Education. You're working on your doctorate right now. Yes, sir. So where do you see yourself in the future, Coach? Um, mm. what, what you think about doing in the future, big guy? Man, that's a good question, man. Um, you know, administration. Okay. okay? Administration. Uh, been in the classroom a while, but administration piece kind of gives you, uh, well, for me, it gives me the dynamic of, of growth, personal growth, but overall impact. Um, I always, My saying around school is for the culture, and what that means is it's everything that is positive that would highlight the school and the things around the school, we do it for the culture of the school mm -hmm. to build that positive connotation of what that school is about. Uh, and that's the impact that I want to be able, and the level I want to be able to be at to really pour that down. It's not, we give so much into our students, that's inevitable, and mm -hmm. we're never going to stop that, right? In education, we, um, we wouldn't have a job if it went for our students. But we cannot forget these amazing teachers, support staff, cafeteria, janitorial services. Those components compiled together creates this big family. And at that level of administration, I want to be able to make that impact. So I would like to be, uh, I will be, an effective and amazing person. That's all right. Yeah. Coach Sean Duhon, head boy basketball coach at Thrive Academy. He see himself being an administrator one day, and one day, it's not going to be Coach Sean Duhon. It's going to be Dr. Sean Duhon. Man, we really appreciate you coming. Hey, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. And now, we have two basketball players from Thrive Academy. Mr. Eaton Aguilera, who's been at Thrive for two years, and Mr. Tabari Dalton, who has been at Thrive for seven years since he was in sixth grade. Guys, Happy to have y'all. Thank y'all for coming. I appreciate you. Oh man, man, we, we just gonna dive into it. I know you've been there for seven years, uh, and you've been there for two. I, I need both of y'all to answer this question. What's been y'all overall experience at Thrive? That's a good question. Me being there from six to 12th grade, I've seen a lot of change, a lot of good changes for the students. Mm. And you know, I've been a part of that growth for so long. Right. So it's good to see it's good to see the transformations happen right in front of my eyes. Wow. And Thrive is just, you know. It's getting better. Yeah, it's getting better. You didn't see it get better. Yeah, growing. Right, right. Continues. Mm hmm Let's take a lap. You know, starting there as a sophomore, it's like, it was, it was, it was something new at first. Then it was like kind of hard to adapt to because I didn't really stay on campus at first. Went to a public school, went home every day. Right. So it was really new, but Seen the change, like you said, seen the change. Over two years, it has been changed. You know, changed me as a person. Thrive has really been a, a great change for me. Mm. Has helped y'all in life? Helped us in life, yeah. Yes, indeed. That's great, that's great, okay? What's special about Thrive? Give me something to make you say, I really love Thrive because of this. Uh, Thrive is not your common school that you're, you're a think of, okay. like when you want to when your child want to go to high school, or something like your common school. Like mm -hmm. people outside of you thrive as like a, a bad school where you send your turn for like punishment or discipline or something. But okay. In reality, we just we a regular school too. We just stay on campus. We're a boarding school. Right. I and like we, that. Yeah. Like, teachers love us. We love each other. And since we so since we so small of a school, like and we all know each other, we really like a small family. So like it's really just. The family love. and staying on school yeah. is great. It's great. You use that word love. Watch out now. Love and education. I like that. I hear that. When you hear love and education together, 
That's a special combination. What you think, Cook? What's special about Thrive? Thrive, it really brings people together. It's like, you know, it's, it's more of a unity than a school. It's like one big family brings people together, you know? Mm. There's like, it's, it's not, it's not what people make it seem as, it's more than that. It's really great for the people and the community. That's all right. Who y'all look up at y'all mentors, man? Uh, you know, who, who these, the people, you got a smile on your face. Oh, oh, I see something coming. Who we look as mentors uh, that's helped us in life? My coach, Coach Doon, man. What's up now? Every day, he shows like all the hard work that we need to put in to be great. And you, he, you, when you see him, you see he's such a hard worker too. Like he could start a new job, new job tomorrow. And be like, snap, it. Right. get it, get it. He's special. Yeah, he's right. special. Who you mentor? <laughs> I would have to say Coach Doon. Oh school. come on, man, he's that good. He's that good. Yeah. All right, but tell me something about what he do. What he do? He's really passionate about us. He's dedicated to everything he does. Man. He brings the best out of us. He just he pushes us. Mm. You know? I got a smile on my face, but I'm going to tell you off camera why I got a smile on my face. I'm almost <laughs> tearing up on here. All right. Look, and look at the teamwork, man. And look at the teamwork. What have y'all learned in this past that y'all need to have teamwork in order to be successful? Over the, past, over the past few years that we didn't play together, like, every time we play, you know, we realize that we really need to play as a team. Like, we all need to stick together and play. Okay. So that's the only way. It's the only way we can keep keep it going. Like, keep going. Got to keep our foot on people's necks. Okay. Got to keep pushing and build that chemistry as a team and just bond. We already got an advantage at school on the uh, residential side by staying in the dorms. Watch out, man. Yeah, hmm. All the athletes. Y'all see each other all the time. Yeah, always bonding, always practicing, um, pick up games with each other. It's just building that chemistry. That's all, all right. Some of the past that helped you now. You know, just building, like you said, building connections with these people. You know, I haven't been here long, but it's like I've been here long enough to know that these people really, really care about you, and some of these people really are dedicated. Hmm. It's like coming into a new home, but right. feeling accepted. Y'all having fun? Of course. Yeah, of course. That's all right. That's all right, man. So, look, we're going to conclude this thing up with just a real general question. What y'all looking to do this season? Y'all, y'all, top 15 in the power ranking. Y'all three and all district. Y'all gonna play Sunday lab Tuesday for the district championship. Woo! If y'all win that, watch out. I done been to a Thrive game. Y'all be having a lot of fun. Them kids gonna, man, I can't, I, I can not get chills on the back of my head. Thinking, if y'all upset the lab, the kids, man, the battle of the green. The green's going against each other. The Thrive green and the Sunday lab green. And we gonna see who gonna win. Man, uh, what y'all think about, what's, what's y'all future goals for the rest of this year? The rest of the year, rest of this season, you know, I want to keep it pushing. Of course, make it the playoffs, but reach state. Mm -hmm. I want to get a big goal. You know, it's going to be something that's never happened in our history. The home playoff game will yeah. be important, too, if y'all could get up top 16. Yeah. Y'all 15 now. Yeah. Right. So, you know, what about you, man? You know, firstly, we just want to win. We just want to win this game Tuesday and get the district championship title. Watch out. We want to finish strong, you know. We want to leave leave our mark. The seniors want to leave their yeah, marks. Yeah, I think Coach Duhon will get y'all some t-shirts and t-shirt champs. I think he'll give us more some than that, bro. Oh, wow, oh y'all looking for more? Yeah. They get those shoes or something. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hey, man, look, Mr. Uh, Ethan Adair, he's a junior. And Mr. Tabari Dalton, he's a senior. Hey, congratulations on y'all season so far. Thank I you. wish y'all the best. And no matter what happened, get in them playoffs. And then the whole season start over again. So look, I guess I, I'm happy with y'all at, but keep 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 thriving, but keep moving. You know that word thrive. Look it up sometime and see what it means. It's got a, some serious meaning to it. Yeah, we ain't gonna give up. We ain't gonna quit. We gonna keep fighting. We gonna thrive to be successful. Thank y'all for coming. Thank, Thank you. Big Coach Leonard Parker Show.
If you enjoyed the Big Coach Leonard Parker show, you can see more content on the Big Coach Leonard Parker YouTube channel. That was a good show. The Big Cost Leonard Parker Show.